For the best in music, arts, and entertainment, venture to the outside. ITO Radio America. Well, I noticed a lot of new faces this evening, and I'm so glad you all came. And I want you to know that this is a safe place to share. So if you want to tell us your story, there'll be no judgment. Hi, my name is Charlie. And as you know, I have a problem. I'm addicted to cars. As I've said in other videos, in 1996, it became mandatory for all cars to have the OBD2 uh, scanning system. Many cars prior to 1996 actually had an OBD or uh, onboard diagnostic system that could be accessed in other ways. For my uh, 300 CE, that was a 1988, and there was, <clears throat> there was actually a system under the hood that you could hold down a button and you could count the series of lights flashing and that would give you um, kind of a menu of things that you could check which was really cool and that's 1988 so this is a 1995 this is the year before obd2 but there's a pretty extensive uh, obd system on this cadillac and we've had some codes uh, we've got our traction control light on <clears throat> some various things that we need to check and I just want to do a quick video so you can see how you access the the codes so basically to do this you should be using the warm button and the off button and holding them down for five seconds I believe everything goes crazy And I think to control, to scroll is down and to select whatever this is saying is up. So it's asking if I want PCM, IPC, ACP, SIR, TCS, RSS, PCM. So I'm gonna do PCM and I'm gonna do up. PCM data, PCM inputs, PCM outputs. PCM override, PCM clear codes, PCM snapshot, PCM data. What's that do? Uh, and you can do off again to go back. IPC, we'll say yes. IPC override, IPC clear codes. So all this stuff means something, but I gotta figure out what it all means. I'll go back out. Inputs, override, clear codes. We don't wanna do that, we'll go back. ACP, look at that. Back. P137's current, I032. There's a lot of codes. <laughs> Three days later. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, we've got a lot of codes to, to deal with. All we need to do is go online, you type in the year of the car, the make, the model, and you type in that code and you're gonna get uh, a, probably a hundred different threads of people discussing what they were doing with that code, how they address it. Uh, a lot of this stuff probably looks like sensors, I believe, from what I've looked up in the past. 
So I don't know it's something we're gonna be able to do ourselves, but we're gonna give it the old uh, college try. But I thought it was important to show this. There are some videos out there, um, but not, not a ton for uh, 95 Cadillac Seville's. So hopefully this was helpful to some of you guys. I'll get back to having some videos with some of my friends and introducing their cars, a lot of cool cars to show you. A few I'm very, very excited about, but hang in there and I will be back soon with more videos. Please like, subscribe, share, and tell a friend. Other than that, we'll see you on the next one.